Paula, tell us more about what's happening where you are. Karen, the situation at the moment here is calm, but this morning the United Nations courthouse was taken over by hundreds of Serbs who worked there before 1999. Among them were Serb lawyers and employees of local law enforcement agencies who had been fired. They managed to break through Ukrainian and Polish peacekeepers who backed off when they came forward and allowed them to go in. Serb leaders and regional United Nations representatives are in negotiations right now to try and deal with the situation. The head of the United Nations mission in Kosovo, Joachim Uroka, has said that those who returned to violence this morning have crossed the red line. I'm quoting him. He says he has instructed the United Nations police to restore law and order and to ensure that the courthouse remains under the United Nations. He's also asked the Serb government to prevent such attacks in future. He's reiterated that UNMIC, the United Nations mission in Kosovo, will defend its mandate in Kosovo throughout the whole of Kosovo. At the same time, the NATO Secretary General, Yafta Hrup Hefer, has arrived in Mitrovica. He is holding a number of meetings throughout the day with local leaders and NATO commanders. And uh, Paula, we were talking earlier about uh, reports of a large demonstration being planned for today. Has that started? Is it underway? It is underway. It's gone underway about 15 minutes ago to go inside with the United Nations Resolution 1244. So each day ever since the ethnic Albanians declared independence last month, there has been a demonstration here in Mitrovica at 12.44 local time. Now, what, what is interesting about today's demonstration is that it coincides with the violence of March 2004. There was a three-day pogrom then during these dates in which 31 people died in it's a peacekeepers. Thousands of Serb homes were burnt and churches were destroyed. The I think we're losing a little bit of sound there. I'm terribly sorry. Thank you very much, Paula, for that update. We'll be returning to you later on, of course.